This may sound unbelievable, but it is real. Out of 10 persons in Agumede community of Enugu State, eight suffer from appendicitis. A correspondent Saturday, Ochia, who visited the community, reports that appendicitis has killed many residents of the community. They are calling on the government to build hospitals and provide the basic amenities. When TVC News was told of a community in southeast Nigeria where appendicitis is prevalent, it found it difficult to believe the story. But all our doubts soon disappeared. Welcome to Aguamede, a rural community in Izuzo local government area of Enugu State. The residents confirmed tales of high rates of appendicitis and hernia in their community, noting that most of them have undergone surgery on the ailments. Appendicitis and other ailment in our place. It is true. It started as far as after. I mean, it started as early as uh, after the war. My people started having a that of such having such experiences of that uh, uh, that uh, uh, appendicitis. So, my people have been suffering and we have been crying to the government to give us a good hospital. More especially our young girls they used to have uh, appendix uh, the particular disease is uh, is rampant here in the issues of local government not only in the youth youths here say the ailment as old as their community according to them Aguamade records more death from the two ailments though there's no medical validation for their claim the villagers blame their travel on hard labor aimed at meeting their daily needs. Our people is doing a, a hard a labor. Yes, even our girls pushing wheelbarrow, riding bicycle or something like that. That is the main cost of that appendicitis in this side. Our people are suffering from appendicitis, uh, maybe due to hard labor and uh, the type of water they drink, we don't have a pipe bomb water here. So they drink from stream. And you know the bad water can cause other things. The sleepy community, in addition to the health challenges, grapples with lack of basic amenities. Its roads are bad, it also lacks potable water. The only source of water is three streams. Water from these streams are unfit for drinking. But the people have no choice but to drink from the stream. Oh, the water, Jesus Christ. I can't even believe it myself. After bending with, with it the first time I came here, my body, all my body swallowed up. I was just like scratching my body. I can't even sleep at night. The water is no good at all. If you take a, take a look at the water we are taking, eh, we won't even drink water at all. But this is a major source of water. And after fetching this water, there's no more treatment for that. It's just for you to filter it with any available white clothes in your house. But those that are the like the the working people that maybe laborers, they just fish and go out about drinking it because they don't have chance to filter it. In the dry season they travel thirty to twenty kilometers to come to a bank to fetch ground water. And they have the whole day to fetch a gallon. If you lift 50 liters of that river water to the hinterland, you'll be sure of 300 naira. And this is a great society where people have many children and wives. So we don't have access to any team water, whether clean or water or, or dirty, in the dry season. Because the, like this stream will be dried up. And that is all the stream along this axis will be dried up. We'll be left with a bony river. Or you travel to Okpoku River at the border of Enugu State and the Benue State. Fetching water from the Ebony stream, which stretches as far as a bony state, is a herculean task considering the distance and the impassable nature of the road. But many of the villagers blame the high rate of appendicitis among them on lack of public or private hospitals. 
to access Medicare, they travel distances because unlike their community, Ahamefu has a few private hospitals and a little government presence.